Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Today we're going to be watching Back to the Future Part 3 from 1990. Last we left them, Doc got zapped out by lightning and then Marty got a mysterious letter from him. So I am very excited to see what the heck happened, where he went. I did Google some images to get some costume ideas and I Saw some westerny stuff. I'm feeling pretty fly in this getup. So let's get right into it. I'm super duper excited. I'm ready to complete this trilogy. All right, here we go. I can't even contain my excitement. I feel like a child. These movies are so fun. They just bring out a childlike sense of wonder in me. I'm, I'm loving it. Let's do it. Here we go. Back to the Future, part three. Yay. Oh, look at this old school opening. Last we left them, Marty got a letter from Doc. All right, let's see how it goes. I love that music. It's getting me in the zone already. Right before the lightning. I love that we've seen this scene now several times and each time it means something a little different. Great Scott, can you believe it? Ho ho! Ha ha ha! <laughs> yeah, ha ha ha! And I love that it pans down just like in the first movie and then it, it cut off right there. However, second movie. <gasps> okay, relax, Scott. I'm back from, from the, the future. future. Yeah, yeah. Great, Great Scott. Scott. Here we go, back to the future. Part three. Yeah, yeah. Picking up right where we left off. I like it. Now what? It's a massive house. Did I just say house like a like a true Canadian house? A massive house. Oh yeah, he's got the hoverboard. Oh, Bob Gale. Okay, so it's the same writer, director, producer, same team. That's cool. <laughs> I need to start saying that more in my life now. <gasps> Great Scott. Last night's time travel experiment was apparently a complete success. Sending the necessary one point. Look at that dog. I got my dog in the background. He's passed out also. That music. He's playing it with his butt. Does it doesn't make sense for you to be here? I refuse to believe that you are here. I came back to 1955 mm -hmm. again with you, the you from 1985. You, that is the you from 1985. And you got sent back to 1885. It's a very interesting Show the hoverboard. In the letter. How could you possibly know about it? My calculations okay. are correct. Immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. <laughs> the lightning bolt that hit the DeLorean activated the flux capacitor and sent me back. The old <laughs> He's wearing the thing. The circuits and destroyed the flying circuits. I set myself up as a blacksmith. Suitable replacement parts will not be invented until 1947. 1885. <laughs> I actually end up as a blacksmith in the Old West. I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned Delgado mine. It's shown on the enclosed map. Oh, they have a Remain map. The awesome. I love a good adventure with a map. Once you have returned to 1985, destroy the time machine. What? I repeat, do not attempt to come back here to get me. Well, they're obviously going to do it. I will always treasure our relationship and think on you with warm feelings and a special place in my heart. Your friend in time. Your right, according friend to this, in the time, time vehicle sealed off in a side time. We may have to blast. We may have to blast. Sweet, sweet blasting. This dog! I'm making a new award and it's for this dog. I attempted to reach the center of the earth. Reading my favorite author, Jules Verne, I realize I must devote my life to science. My initials, just like in Journey to the Center of the Earth. Awesome. Oh my god, I, I'm loving this already. We're not even into it. This is so cool. There she is. Astounding. Oh. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a cowboy. Sounds like a wonderful way to spend my retirement years. So I wonder if they go back by accident. Can I go to the library and look myself up? Oh. You're the one that's always saying, you know, it's not good to know too much yes. about your own destiny. It's funny that Marty's telling him that this time. In the last two movies, Doc has known everything. This time, it's Marty. Come on. Oh. 
He knows him. He didn't notice. Oh, phew. Okay. Great Scott. It's one week after you wrote the letter. Oh, in no. memory by his beloved Shot Clara. in the back. But you for Tannen over a matter of $80. Tannen, is that Biff and Griff? Notorious gunman whose tendency to Maybe drool not. earned him the nickname Mad Dog. Tendency to William drool. McFly and family. My great-grandfather's name was William. Look. Great Scott. Great Scott. He said that like 10 times already. It is true. All of it. All right. I'm going All right. back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. And Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. That does not look good. You haven't heard of him yet. <laughs> wear those back in 1885. That looks so bad. I'm really glad I'm not wearing that get up. He looks so bad. Look, as soon as I get there, I'll put him on it from. It's going to be a hell of a long walk back to Hill Valley from here. Remember where you're going, there are no roads. There are no roads. See, even that line has a different meaning this time. Up. Oh, Friggin' amazing. This trilogy is so brilliant. Small cave over there, which will be a perfect place to hide the time vehicle. I get shot on Monday the 7th, so you have five days to locate me. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm gonna crash into those Indians. And those Indians won't even be there. Duh, hello. See you in the future. See you in the, the past. past. Exactly. Yes. Hey, morning. Hey. Good to you. Get up to 88. Go on, go on, go on. He is going right into them. Jeez. That's not what you want to see. Holy crap, Marty. Are they going to start bow and arrowing him? Is that the cave where they hit it? Okay, okay, okay. Uh oh. See now, that's what cowboys look like. I can't believe he's wearing that. I'm embarrassed for him. And I'm wearing this, and I'm embarrassed for Marty. I do like the Adams on it, though. That's pretty funny. Designed by Doc, no doubt. Jeez. Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Oh, uh, good luck. You don't, you don't, you don't mess with bears. Like, I think they're cute and cuddly, but uh, if I ever saw one in the wild, I would pee my pants, probably. Oh, goodness. Knocked out again. Who's he saved by? Is it Tuck? Is it Tuck? Mom. So is this like when he woke up with his mom? I had this horrible nightmare. Dreamed I was in a western. You're safe back in 1885. Don't worry. Well, you're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. McFly farm? <laughs> you're my farm. Yep. My... Maggie McFly. Well, it's Mc... Eastwood? Eastwood? Clint. Clint, Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. William Sean McFly, the first of our family William to be McFly. born in America. Do Ernie likes you, Mr. Eastwood? How is it that you came to be way out here without yeah. a horse or boots? That'd be hard My to explain. My horse broke down and, and uh, uh, bare in <laughs> boots. I helped you find your blacksmith friend. I'll take you as far as the railroad tracks. You can follow him straight on into town. Such a strange young man. Aye, but I've just got a feeling about him, Maggie. Oh, because he's the McFly. It's almost as if... Connected to us. Oh. So you're my great grandfather. And you peed yeah. on the Look at this old town. I guess this is all different. Construction of the clock tower. Very cool. Not built yet. We're seeing, once again, we're seeing the downtown in an entirely new way. Saloon. Why, I didn't know the circus was in town. Yeah, right? <laughs> in here. It's whiskey and nothing. Whiskey. This is just like we're going back into the cafe, just like we did last time, only this time it's a saloon. Hey, McFly! Oh my god. Oh. You want to change, McFly? You look like Is this no. the same guy? What's your name, dude? Clint. Eastwood. I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen oh. him, Mr. Tanner, and I have not. Is it the same actor that played Biff? He looks looks different. You're mad dog Tannen. I hate that name. Yeah, okay, I think it is the same guy. Oh boy. You can dance Literally moonwalking. Ew. Ew. Biff or whatever your name is this time. You got grossed again. Uh oh So we're back again being chased by Biff again through the streets. 
Oh my god, this is like him hitching a ride on the back of the car. Only this time, it's a horse. Hot time we had a Jeez, they're just gonna hang him. Okay. Well, I hope friggin' Doc shows up soon. Oh my god. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sharp shooter. I can't believe they strung him up. That's really dark. You owe me money, blacksmith. Because one day you're gonna get a bullet in your back. This is why he killed him. <laughs> Cute. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? You did. You did. These guys are BFFs in time. I love it. Shot of the back by Buford's hand. Great so. this Monday. And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. Do you remember last week when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher? She's coming in tomorrow. Clara Clayton. He's about to fall in love. The idea that I could fall in love at first sight is romantic nonsense. I guess we'll see. You meet the right girl, it just hits you. It's like lightning. Get yeah. And get ourselves yes. Are we going to have to patch it up and get some gas? There's not going to be a gas station around here until sometime in the next century. Can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles. Uh oh, what, what about so what do we do? horses? Oh. Yeah! 88 though, that's pretty fast. 24! 24! I wonder if they solve it or if it's just like Doc appears later in a different DeLorean and it's all fine. Bartender says that's the strongest stuff they got. Eee. Damn! Damn, damn! We know it won't run under its own power. We know we can't pull it. If we could figure out a way. Front of a train? Huh? Ho ho! What do you think it's possible to get it up to 90? If you had a straight stretch of track and you weren't hauling no cars, and if you could get the fire hot enough, when's the next train coming? Okay, come okay. Here. Monday morning at 8 o'clock. This is where we'll push the DeLorean with the locomotive. There is no bridge. Yeah. The bridge will exist in 1985. We'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge right. is completed. But if you don't, you'll go right off. Oh my god. I need some candy. Wait, Scott! Is this the lady he falls in love with? I do want to see Doc fall in love. How dashing. Whoa! You saved me. Love at first sight. I'm a brown at your service, Miss. Um, Clara. Clara Clayton. Well, geez, I could have worn that. That's nice. I suppose it was destiny. It was your density. You'll see lots of me, I'm sure. I'm a shop in town. I'm a local scientist, a blacksmith. Yeah. What sort of science? You gotta get going. Marty's kind of loving this, though. Miss Clayton almost ended up at the bottom of Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. They say she fell in there 100 years ago. Oh. Scott. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. I apologize. Yeah, I just... no, Dark, it's not the scale. We're back here again. Another model. We load the DeLorean onto the tracks. The train leaves the station at 8, and then we'll hijack, borrow the locomotive. The party calculations will reach 88 miles per hour just before we hit the edge of the ravine. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very, very tight. Point of no return. Up until there, we still have enough time to stop the locomotive before it plunges into the ravine. It's fair. My telescope was damaged. But if you turn it... Oh, she is I also know. smitten. I'll see you this evening at the festival, Emma. It's just like at number one when the mom came in in the middle of them setting up. Except this time it's Doc who's meeting a girl. May it stand for all time! Tell Marty in a way it's fitting that you and I are here to witness this. Smile, Doc. I feel like we're gonna see that picture again later. Ask her to dance, dummy! Would you care to, to uh... I love I just told you that even a baby can handle this weapon. Surely you're not afraid. Yeah, I'm not afraid of nothing. Oh, come on. He's yeah. no chicken. <laughs> just like the video game. Smooth. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? 7-Eleven. Yeah. You gentlemen will have to check your firearms. You can't read the sign, Tannen. I presume you can read this. I was just joking with you, deputy. Yeah, right. I see you got yourself some respectable clothes, lad. Oh, thanks. Frisbee, far out. What was the meaning of that? <laughs> there he is, Buford. 
gobble one bullet with that. Last time I used it, fella, it took two whole days to die. This can't happen now. That means you'll be dead by about supper time Monday. Oh. Blacksmith's company while I get acquainted with the Billy. Yeah. Oh. See now, he biffs assaulting another lady. Ew. Okay, girl. Oh. I damn you. <gasps> Oh my god, he froze beat him. What's wrong, dude? You yellow? Oh no, you didn't. Nobody calls Marty a chicken slash yellow. Nobody calls me yellow. Not now, Buford. Uh, Marshall's got our gun. Well, Monday, we're doing anything Monday. <laughs> you can kill him on Monday. I'll be back this way <laughs> on Monday. I do my killing before breakfast. Oh, Seven o'clock. I do my killing before breakfast. Eight o'clock. I do my killing after breakfast. <laughs> I love Marty. Shoot you down like a duck. It's dog, Buford. Shoot him down like a dog. Let these sissies have their party. Make like a tree and leave. Hunt you down like a duck. I'd like for you to have this brand new Colt Peacemaker and gun. Baby. Dang. I want everybody to know that the gun that shot Buford was a Colt Peacemaker. You could have just walked away and nobody would have talked to Lesia for it. Yes. It reminds me of poor Mark. Hi. Are you a brother named Martin McFly? I a brother. He was concerned that people would think of a color mm -hmm. if you refused. Never considered the future. Sure, and I hope you're considering the future, Mr. Eastwood. I think about it all the time. Yeah, it's basically his entire life for two movies. Emmett, do you think we'll ever be able to travel to the moon? Definitely. Explosions so powerful that they that just... They break the pull of the Earth's gravity and... Emmett, I read that book too. I adore Jules Verne. So do I. Aww. This actually might be his soulmate. And now they're in love. Is he gonna bring her with him? He can't. She doesn't belong in the future. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Doc, <laughs> hope you know what you're doing. Looking good. Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> oh my god, he is smitten. Oh boy. Doc, look at that, the tombstone. Oh, my name, it's vanished. Hey, that's great, Doc. Ah. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. You just need to take your measurement. No, this is for your coffin. No one thinks he can win. Great Scott. Great Scott! Even McFly is saying it now. You heard what that son of a bitch called me. Marty, you can't go losing your judgment. That's exactly what causes you to get into that accident in the future. Yep. What is wrong with my future? You've got to do what you've got to do. I've got to do what I've got to do. I'm not going with you tomorrow. I knew I'm it. In love with Clara. This tombstone could still be in your future. Anyone can make their future whatever they want it to be. I have to live my life according to what I believe is right. You're right, Marty. He is right, but I still don't think he's going to want to leave Clara. I don't know, maybe we can just take Clara with us. She would love that. And they won't miss her in the past because she was supposed to die. We shall proceed as planned, and as soon as we return to 1985, we'll destroy this. He's gonna leave. Yeah. I've come to say goodbye. Where are you going? Take me with you. I wish it didn't have to be this way. I love you. If you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. Yes, tell her the truth. I'm from the future. Yikes! It's not meant to be. Oh, right over Look at his little long face. Whiskey, Chester. It's gonna get crazy drunk and miss out on the plan. And you can leave the bottle. You never know what the future might bring. <laughs> well. I hope he doesn't get super drunk and tell everybody, although they'll probably just think he's crazy. Doc! Oh boy. And in the future, we have motorized carriages called automobiles. Does anybody walk or run? Of course we run. But for recreation. What the hell kind of fun is that? How much does he have? That's the first one. He just likes to hold it. He just likes to hold it. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Amen. Damn it, no! Uh oh, why? He passes out. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> just the one. Joey! Let's make some wake-up juice. Oh god, ew. Oh, ew. In about ten minutes. Why do we have to cut these things so damn close? Yeah, I was just thinking that. They're always cutting it so close. Ew, 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 ew. Well, that worked. Well, something inside me told me I should be here. 
As if my future had something to do with it. Let's settle this once and for all, Run! Don't call him Yella. Oh my god, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I think you ain't nothing but a gutless Yella turd! Oh, Marty. Mom! Character growth. You don't have to go out there. He's an asshole. I don't care yeah. what Tannen says. I don't care what else says. Poor fellow had the worst case of broken heart I have ever seen. Him. Whoa. Then I don't know what's gonna happen. Right here, Tannen. Showdown. It's not bad, too. The gun twirling. Bro. No. No. Oh, I just took it off. <laughs> Marty's got some protection! Yeah! Okay, from the thingy. Well, it's a good thing he didn't shoot you in the head, Marty. Ooh. Broke the tombstone! Now nobody dies? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love this trilogy! I did not see that one coming. I think Buford's going to jail. Get him out of that Tannen? Oh my god, amazing. You're under arrest. You got anything to say? Ew. I hate my noise. Yeah, you hate it through all time. Train! Can we make it? We'll have to cut him off a coyote pass. Here's your gun, mister! <laughs> it's worth twelve dollars. Never been used. Oh, I just missed him. Oh my god, can they make it? They have to get in front of the train and then get in the car. Oh my god. Woo. Yeah, okay, get up to the front. I mean, they got nothing left to lose. Rage! Is this a hold up? It's a science experiment! What's she gonna do? Okay. I'm like captivated here. Like, what is gonna happen? Hopefully, we'll hit 88 miles per hour before the needle gets much past 2000. What happens? The whole boiler explodes. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Huh. <laughs> Hang on, lady. At the last minute, he's not gonna go. He's gonna stay with her. What's she gonna do? I love you! Stop! I'm gonna go back for her! No. no, wait a minute. We're going past 50. You'll never make it! Then we'll have to take her back with us. You can do it! I hope you can do it. I'm really nervous. I can't, Evan. I'm scared! Oh my god. Is he gonna hoverboard out there? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is so intense. Oh my god. Hoverboard over, hoverboard over. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah! Where are they going? Dog's not coming. I do kind of want to see this explode. Whoa! The Eastwood Ravine. Is everything going to be back to normal? I don't even know which normal is normal. Oh, oh shoot. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, that just crushed it. That's it, Marty. No more messing around in time. Well, Doc, it's like you want it. I 
I'm happy for Doc, though. He wanted to stay with Clara. Hey, butthead! Get away! Watch it, Biff! Marty! Putting on the second coat now! Ooh. Okay. Marty, who are you supposed to be? Clint Eastwood? Yeah. And there she is. Yay! I had the worst nightmare. Yeah. Marty, that dream I had is so real. Marty, it was a dream. Wasn't it? How's it hanging, McFly? Hey, Needles. Let's see what she can do. What's the matter? Chicken? Oh, McFly. Grab all the something. Marty. <laughs> Marty. You think I'm stupid enough to race that asshole? Yeah. Exactly. I would have hit that Rolls Royce. Is he telling her the truth? Doc's never coming back. Thought he was just gonna be like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> it's Doc! Honey! Doc! Huh? On team. He built a train time machine. Hi, Marty! Jules! And Vern! After all, I had to come back right now. Yeah! I brought you a little souvenir. Oh. Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's had nice. your future is whatever you make it. Oh my god, what a cool time machine! Back to the future! Already been there! Isn't even gonna say they're going wherever they want. Where they're going, they don't need roads. Yeah. Awesome. Okay guys, well that was Back to the Future part three. Surprise, surprise, I really liked it. It was so much fun. I really liked seeing Doc falling in love. I thought the end was really great too. It was a happy ending, which I always love. I just loved it. I thought it was such a great note to end the whole trilogy on. Very clever writing, obviously. It really is a nice, complete trilogy. So I think similar to the last one, I'm gonna do a little sharing for the awards. The MVP, just a single MVP award, is gonna be awarded to both Doc and Marty. They are a team in time travel, although now Doc has his own team, but they are a team in time travel to me in this trilogy. It's been the two of them all the way through. So they both deserve MVP. Basically, of this trilogy, MVP goes to Doc and Marty together. They can share it. And then the Loki MVP, I'm gonna give to Clara because that was so nice that Doc fell in love. I just, I thought that was great. And then she friggin' pursued him at the end. She wasn't taking no for an answer. She loved him. She's gonna climb on a train and risk her life to tell him, good for you, girl. Go get it. So Clara gets Loki MVP and I'm so happy that they found each other and they flew off on the hoverboard and I just was like, oh, I guess we just know, you know, that they ended up together and that's good enough. But then they appeared in that train time machine with their children, Jules and Vern and the dog. It just, it couldn't have been a better ending. And I just really love that Doc gets that ending. So good for you, Clara. Good for you, Doc. Love it. And then, you know, I would give the worst award to Buford, but I just feel like that's a little predictable. So what I'm gonna do is give the worst award to that disgusting concoction that the bartender made to wake up Doc. That was horribly gross. It was like hot sauce and some other random stuff. Blech, super gross. So yes, disgusting drink that the bartender made to sober Doc up. You are the worst. And for this movie, I decided I'm gonna invent a new award. So number one dog award is gonna be shared actually this time as well because it was two awesome dogs. So first inaugural number one dog award is gonna go to Copernicus and to Einstein. Two awesome dogs time traveling their way into my heart. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like down below because one like equals one shot of whiskey that you can just hold all night long. Okay guys, well that is the end of the trilogy. And you know, as a trilogy, this is an absolute classic, obviously. Now I know about the magic of the Back to the Future trilogies. Loved it, loved them all, loved all three. Loved them as a trilogy, loved how they worked together, loved the characters, loved the time travel, loved the story, loved the love story that came in at the end, just everything, loved it. 
loved it loved it so thank you guys so much for watching this whole trilogy with me i had a great time i hope you had a great time too and i will see you next time bye guys